Hello, Thornton Darts here and welcome back to another video. Now today I wanted to do a little bit of a review. Now, um, the reason I wanted to do this review is because I've noticed that a lot more professional players are starting to pick up these all-in-one flight and stem systems. Um, this one specifically, the Condor Axe. So we've seen Devin Peterson, Jose de Souza. We've seen recently Peter Wright, Simon Whitlock, Dave Chisnell. They are all starting to pick them up. And I've heard really good things about them. So I couldn't help not get myself a set. So we're going to take a look at these close up and then have a throw on the board. Compare them to my normal setup and see if there's any advantages, disadvantages. And talk a little bit about them. So let's get cracking. Okay, so let's take a look at the product. Now they come in this nice little box. Um, first up, I ordered these. They cost around £10.50. Uh, I got these from Lee Soper on Facebook. Um, top guy posted them out for me pretty quickly. And also, you can get them from Darts Corner, £10.50 as well. They come in different colours. I ordered the size M here. Now, I'll show you a little bit later. I think that these guys do short, medium, and long, and our mediums being their long, for example, because I use intermediate stems, and these line up pretty closely. I'll show you that shortly. But we take these out of the box, and the good thing about these is they come in quite a hard plastic casing. Now, that's good, because when they're in the post, if they were soft, it would be easy to bend. Um, some couriers nowadays don't take as much care with your product so the fact that these come in a hard case is great so they're not going to bend um, while they're in transit which is great um, and now we'll take a look at these I'll show you what I mean by the medium I use um, media uh, intermediate stems uh, I flight punch them and you line them side by side and they're pretty much bang on so I think the M is sort of the in-between size and I'm assuming that they have a long as well so yeah, taking a look at these, my first impressions is, wow, it's almost like glass. It doesn't, like, that sounds weird. It's quite a hard plastic. It's not, if you're used to L-Style or Cosmo, it doesn't have that much flex in it. It's not really a soft material, um, so it's definitely a bit more rigid. But the thing I will say about these is, if you notice, there's a bit of a triangular shape, um in the actual stem itself. Now I think this is really smart because the thing I like about these is if you're a, a Daryl Gurney type player or Jamie Hughes and this is why I think people like Whitlock and Chizzy have picked them up is because it's so rigid if you aim for the fly it's going to hit here the points then going to slide down this is V channel and hopefully come straight in the treble. So if you like your first dart to sit above and you then aim for the flight, your point's going to slide down, your dart's going to come down, and then sit right underneath that dart. And it's not going to flex, it's not going to spin. So the only place for it to go, really, once it hits your flight, straight down that channel into the treble 20. So I really like that about the design. And they don't really bend. Now, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. I think, in my opinion, this is going to suit more of a player that likes their darts to sit upright, uh, I think maybe if you have your dart sitting flatter, you maybe do want a bit of movement or spin. But we'll see when we throw them at the board. But yeah, I must say, I'm pretty impressed by these. I have had a little bit of a throw already. But we're going to do a proper bit of a review and take a look at throwing them now. Okay, so we've got them in the match darts. We're going to have a few throws, see how they feel and just give you a bit of feedback on them really. So let's have a go. Really one, good trouble there last start. Um, initial thoughts is they fly quite nicely through the air. I think because they're rigid, they hold their shape really nicely. So they're not getting bent. There's no little nicks in them at the moment. Maybe after a while, they'll start to tear a little bit. I don't know. Um, but they do feel a bit heavy at the rear for me. Ooh, 140. It made quite a nice sound there. I don't know if you heard it. It was like a, almost like a spring sound. I quite like that, to be honest. But yeah, other than, it makes my dust sit a bit flatter, but flying through the air, they're, they're pretty nice. I really like the sound when they hit each other. But that's just me. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, they're 40. Yeah, you can see I would prefer my darts to be up a little bit more. So they're coming in a bit flatter, but I must say, not a bad little product. Although, I spoke about the V shape on the stem. I don't really feel like I'm getting much advantage out of that. Maybe it's because I'm not very good at gripping darts, but... But yeah, do you know what? Not a bad little flight and stem setup. Eighty one. So Okay, so my thoughts on these, I would say they're a good bit of fun. Um the colour of them, really like it in the board. With these modern ring lights, these really do glow. And I love the sound they make when they hit each other. It's just quite quite nice it's different to what you usually hear um i like the fact you don't really have to worry about robin hoods um i like the rigidity and how well they keep their shape i think you probably need a specialist case to make sure they don't get bent but yeah the only thing that stops me from maybe using these in my darts is they just feel a little bit heavy for me um, they brought my darts down a little bit and i can feel it when i'm throwing it sort of being that little bit more rear heavy so i'll probably stick with my loxley intermediate stems and my flight's flight punched at the moment, but if I think the real advantage of these is if you are the person that has their darts up at an angle, like I said, the Dal Gurney, JB Hughes, these would be a really good bit of kit. That won't affect your angle too much uh, because it will still be pretty upright and you can really get an advantage of slamming into these flights and coming down using them as a proper good marker dart. So yeah that's my review on them guys i hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you've got some yourselves and how you are finding them so catch you soon bye <laughs>